Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 3. Today I'm sharing with you the Horizon Edition Subaru BRZ, which is an XP boost car, and man, this is where it all started with the Horizon Edition cars for me, because this was the very first Horizon Edition car that I got from a wheel spin in this game, and the first one in general, because... At first, I didn't buy them from the auction house at all whatsoever, so this one that I have now, though, is actually not my original one, because if you remember, if you've been on my channel for a while, I actually sold that one for over a million credits, because at that time, I was more worried about credits than anything. I really wanted to buy all the cars that I just really enjoy, really like, and really wanted to get, but eventually I went back and got one of these from the auction house, because these aren't currently even available in wheel spin, so they're kind of rare, I guess you could say, and it was actually kind of funny because I was looking through all my cars and I saw this car and I was like, I never made a video about this car, did I? Because I had it, like, in the very beginning and I did talk about it in one of my videos, but I never actually shared gameplay because I never even drove the car, I just sold it right away right when I got it pretty much, but... I decided to bring it out here and really test it out, drive it around, and see what this car is good for, and I have to say, this thing's really not the best for racing, and the only way that you're really going to have a lot of fun racing, where it's just, like, drivable, is if you have traction control on, because this thing, I mean, it literally will not grab full throttle until 5th gear, so obviously, if you're someone who's very precise and knows how to feather the gas pedal perfectly, you can drive this thing, but man, it's just so annoying, because literally, all the way through 4th gear, this thing will just spin, and it makes it so hard to grab, you just go left and right, and... That's why I personally actually like this car, just for a drift car, and right now you're just seeing some gameplay, but towards the end you're going to see some free roam gameplay, and that's how I have the most fun in this car, because I mean, this thing's so light, it makes a lot of power, and those two real wheels just cannot grab the car to the road, so. I actually like trying to race it sometimes, which right now you're seeing it with traction control on, and it definitely can grab a lot better, and it's not got the best handling either, that's the thing. Like, this thing I really do not like to race because it's not nearly as good as a lot of other cars that I have, but just to free roam around, just to have some fun cruising with your friends, I mean, this car can be a ton of fun, and if you like drifting at all, you're certainly going to like this car. It's rear-wheel drive, lots of power, and it definitely gets sideways. I'm kind of disappointed, though, because this is an XP boost car, and I really like XP boost cars. That's the only thing that I'm really working towards is getting my driver level up at this point, so getting XP is very important, but considering that I just really don't like to race this thing, I mean, I think this thing would be better as a drift skills boost because it certainly can drift a lot, and that's probably, like I said, the only thing that I'm really going to do with this car moving forward. It's not that fun to race, and... I don't really like using traction control anymore, I've been kind of fading away from that. I used to use automatic and traction control a lot. Now I'm trying to not use traction control, and it's a lot more fun, I feel like. You have a lot more control of what you want to do, and same thing with manual. I used to pretty much only use automatic, but I'm getting more into manual as well, and again, more control, it's a little bit more fun, it's obviously more challenging, you have to know what gear you need to be in, and all those basic things that pretty much everybody I'm sure knows, because most people I'm sure do drive in manual, but for some reason, for me, I always just had more fun in automatic. The game just felt smoother and it's more relaxed, and that's what I do. I mean, I play for fun. I don't play to seriously drift or race or anything like that, but... One other thing I do want to mention about the car, just in case you didn't know, is how XP boost works. Basically, it's about your placement in the race. You see right here, you get first place, so you get a certain amount of XP, and then you also get that same amount for using a Horizon Edition car. So it's basically a 100% boost but it only goes by your placement in the race, and it was pretty funny here. I already have a Horizon Edition Mercedes-Benz, but I ended up winning another one, so now I have two. I'll probably end up selling that in the auction house. If anyone wants it, I mean, I can try and put it up, and you can try to snag it for 200000 but most likely it won't really work easily like that, but I figured I'd mention it in this video before I get rid of it, but thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you maybe learned something helpful or useful. I'll let you enjoy the rest of this free roam gameplay here. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to y'all again very soon. Peace out.